Hey everyone, Boone here from Shutterstock. Today I'm going to show you how you can work with Photoshop files in Premiere Pro. And more specifically, I'm going to show you all the different ways you can bring those files in. So let's get into it. Okay, so here let's say I'm working on a fictional project. Let's say I'm working with the Tourism Board of Iceland and they've sent me this file here, this Photoshop file, and they want me to incorporate it in a couple of different videos. And in one of the versions, they want to include this text here, and in another version, they just want to use the image. So I have this Photoshop file, and I need, I need to figure out how I can bring this into Premiere and isolate each of these layers. So if you look down here, you'll see it's the Photoshop file could just consists of two simple layers. We have a text layer here, and then we have the image layer here. You can get this image on Shutterstock, by the way. So let's go over to Premiere Pro and see how we can bring this Photoshop file in. So I have a new Premiere Pro project set up and I'm ready to import my Photoshop file. To do so, I'll go to File, Import. I'll select my Iceland.psd file and Import. Now this brings up the Import dialog box. And if you see here, it says Import As and it gives me four different options. Now, don't overthink this. These are not complicated. These are very straightforward. Let's go through these one at a time and see what they do. First is Merge All Layers. Now, you can see we can visualize the layers here, but they're grayed out. We can't select any of these checkboxes because it's simply merging all the layers together and it's going to import this as one file. If I select OK, you can see here now that this is one clip, it's a PSD file, imported, and it's merged together. But the interesting and cool thing about this is I can still edit this inside Photoshop and it will update here in Premiere Pro. And actually, I can go to Edit edit original and that will send me back to Photoshop and again any changes I make is going to update inside of that project even something as simple as turning off the vis visibility of a layer here and then if I go back you'll see that it updates accordingly very very cool I'm gonna go back here and turn this back on but this is not specifically what we want I want to have each of these layers imported as individual clips so let's see how we can do this I'm gonna import again and we'll go to our drop down menu the next one is merge layers now this simply allows us to merge specific layers together but sim since we only have two layers we're not really going to use this but if we had multiple text layers for instance this would be quite useful next up is individual layers and this is what we want this allows us to import these individual layers as clips and I can even specify if I only wanted to import the photo layer I could import the photo layer if I only wanted to import the text I could do that as well and you'll notice down here, there's something else that's become active, and that's the footage dimensions. Here I can specify if I want these layers to import as the size of the document, or if I want to import as their individual layer sizes. Now this is important if you want to keep these aligned properly, like if I want to keep my text aligned, I'm going to keep the document size selected. Now if I go to OK, you'll see that a folder is imported. If I open up this folder, now I have each of these clips as individual layers or the individual layers imported as clips so that's pretty cool that's exactly what we wanted but there's an even better option if I go and import again and I select my Photoshop file you can see there's a fourth option here and that is sequence if I select sequence and I want both of these layers I want set to document size I select OK now when I import it's gonna go ahead and create a sequence for me if I open up this sequence, now my layers are already put in my sequence and it's ready to go. And if you look here, I can turn off my text layer, they're separated, and this text has an alpha channel, so it has transparency. So now if I move this around, you know, it's very flexible and versatile. So now if I wanted to change out the photos or wanted to put this text over some other element, you know, again, it's, it's very, very versatile. Okay, so there you have it. All the different ways you can bring Photoshop files into Premiere Pro and all the different ways you can work with them. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.